can't help but feel good. I can't help but feel fine. Everything is in its place and everything is mine. I can't help but feel good. I can't help but feel fine. Everything is in its place and all of it is mine. Myself. So I'm me and nobody else. Out, I am basically flying forward and I'm... The question I get most of all when talking about the dry mask is can you use it with glasses? And I especially put on my Oakleys just to show you you can. It feels very comfortable. I've used it with Ray-Bans as well and it works fine. I would like to thank Drone Mask for sending this out. This is the version 2 Drone Mask and it has three main differences compared to the version one, which you can see up here if you really want to. First of all, it's $10 more expensive. So it costs $179 instead of $169. That wasn't one of the differences. The first main difference is pretty obvious. It is now gray instead of black. So it's kind of a fashionable gray. I do really like it. Second difference is you get all the cables in a box. I think that was one of the most annoying things for a lot of people. They bought the drone mask and you know, they came to the pad and like, hmm, is this as far as it's gonna go? <laughs> you had to go out and buy yourself a few more cables. So they actually give you really long, nice USB-C to USB-C, USB-C to lightning and a micro USB adapter. So straight out of the box, you don't have to run to the local shop and pick up a cable. It's all here. I forgot to put my YouTube hat on. The other thing that you saw me use a second ago are these. I can actually fit all four fingers in there. And the great thing is about great things. The great thing about these is when you put your finger in, it flips back and it makes everything blacked out. So there is no crazy light leakage. I think that was my biggest frustration because going out getting the cable wasn't a problem, but not being able to put my finger in the hole was a huge frustration. I had to unzip it press decline when my mum was calling or when I wanted to change a setting on the drone. That was very frustrating. Here, I can basically stick my finger in the hole, press it, and now I can change the settings. I can decline my mum's or dad's phone calls. And it just makes life a lot easier. You do have two holes, by the way. So they've got these kind of like Velcro flaps that they come straight back into position, which is fantastic. And that makes the drone mask polished because the version one was great fantastic had a few you know let downs like not having the cables and not being able to access the phone but now with these access holes it makes the drone mask too polished i don't know what they could add to it to make it even better because it's it's a perfect product right now and if you're looking for an fpv solution and you're not flying fpv so you've got the mini 2 mavic free mini free mini free pro or even the air 2s and you connect it to your controller, cable to the phone, and stick it in here, which is really simple. It takes like three seconds. You basically just need to undo it. And you know, it's it, it takes a second. Slide it back in. Boom, phone is in there. Do it up. Make sure to put the cable in. <laughs> and you're ready to go. You know, you can adjust it here, which is really great. You can lock in the adjustment so it doesn't move. And you have a very immersive FPV-like flight because you can turn on FPV mode in, you know, those drones. So you can, you know, feel it. It, 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 it kind of gets you ready for flying FPV. You know, if you really want to get into FPV and you already have a drone, you want to feel it, then that is the way to do it. I'm not superb at FPV. I use it for two other things. So one is Netflix. I can put my earphones in, turn it on, and I could sit down and I could feel like no one's around me. I'm just watching this huge, massive screen, got my earphones in, noise cancelling, and I'm just there. I can be naked in front of 100 people and I could feel comfortable, unless I knew they were there. <laughs> the other thing is flying a drone through tight spaces. The amount of times I've flown past the cable and I was like, <gasps> because I saw it just after I flew, you know, right past it. It was like that far away from the drone. The amount of times, it's incredible. I think one, like, just off, um, 
Los Angeles, there was a big cable and a uh, uh, few cables in, in the Dolomites. Yeah, just, just cables in general will freak you out. And with this, you can see them so perfectly because it's basically four times the re resolution of any VR headset. So it's very, very high resolution. It's got one piece of glass, which is patented, and you don't need any crazy split screen programs or anything. It's in there, it's crisp, it's clear. You adjust it to make it you know, perfect for you. You can wear the glasses and you can basically see everything. Flying a drone, you know, for those cinematic tight spaces. Using this mask makes life so much easier and just, you feel safer because you can see stuff, you know, there's that cable, I'm gonna fly around it underneath, over the top of it, I'm not gonna, you know, chance it. So yeah, it feels really great. And like I said, I use it for Netflix. So the adjustable straps, you've got two on the side, you've got one on top, nice, you know, padded at the back. And the padding on the actual headset is very, very nice and soft. It doesn't annoy you, it doesn't get hot, it doesn't, you know, feel uncomfortable. So wearing it, me watching a full length feature film for 90 minutes, it feels great and I don't feel like I have to take it off. Everything feels polished about this product and it fits all smartphones. So I'm using the iPhone 12 Pro Max, so, you know, it will fit that and I'm guessing there isn't a bigger smartphone out there than that. The Velcro at the front, you can take it off and use it, you know, like for this HPV mode. It's really great. It's, it's like I said, fantastically built. The zip feels solid, like it's not going to break on you. Really nice design. I would like to thank Drone Mass for sending this out and, you know, letting me be part of this. Anyway, if you guys have any questions about the Drone Mask 2, and I don't think there will be any because I've answered everything, drop them down below. Say hi, and um, subscribe if you haven't, because um, I think we're on 65,890 sank. Um, we are heading to 100,000 this year. Give my film a like if you liked it. And there will be a link below for the Drone Mask version two and version one, if you really want to get the version one. But I would go straight for the version two with these flippy access holes. <sighs> I'm reinventing myself. I'm me and nobody else. Ooh.